Hello everyone and welcome back to another live stream here on the twitch.tv slash the Asuma. It's a Wednesday morning. Don't usually stream on a Wednesday, right? Snapshot day. Uh-huh. But uh, today we're streaming. Lucro, Hero Blender, thank you so much for the bananas in the chat. Appreciate it ever so much. I've logged out here. Don't know. Don't know what I was doing when I was last logged in, but I've logged out here. And uh, we got some things to do today. Gonna start off with something rather simple, actually. Is my sound off? My sound is off, isn't it? Gonna go mark out an area. What's the least boring block we could use? <laughs> do I have a... I, do, I, do I have one for bone blocks? I don't think I do. But I know where I have a lot of bone blocks. Where do I store bone blocks in this system? Right. Where? Bone meal? Is there bone meal on one of these? Aha! Found it. Found it, peeps. Colby says hope has arrived because I am here. Oh my god, Colby's here. We have hope, people. I thought that we didn't. I was so pessimistic a second ago. Did you go for your run this morning, says Jordan? I did. 16 minutes, no problems, no pains. Loving it. Just loving it. I could have gone for a little bit longer as well. Which is uh, kind of what I want to go for this time. I want to, I want to get back up to running like thirty plus minutes at a time. But uh, you know, baby steps to begin with, right? How is the bedroom going, says Strandberg? It's still a bedroom. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? My bedroom. Oh, you mean the bedroom in my base, don't you? I was like, what is this? What is this? What are we talking about here? Oh my god, it's filling up. It's filling up. Scam1982. Thank you so much for your Amazon Prime subscription. Appreciate it, my dude. Thank you. Do you know what? Um, we get loads of bones. We don't get a lot of slime. We got one LA. Hey, look! The other one's returned. Thank goodness. I reckon we might need to do a little bit of perimeter work for the slime farm. That being said, it's really about where I AFK. Oh, do you know what the problem is? It's because I leave the mob farm on, right? If I go turn off the mob farm for a little bit, maybe that's how that's how like this thing over here should work. Is if it's double check. Oh, I actually, I hit the underside. Okay. Still on. <laughs> Where'd the second arrow go? That one, that one was a hit. Yeah, this is a cool idea. I need, I need to come back and make that a little more obvious and easier to look at and stuff. If the mob farm is off, we're going to get more slimes in the slime farm. Like, what if they were hooked up to each other? So, you toggled between slime and mob? That could be cool. Poppy says, maybe check the caves nearby. We've already done that. That's, that's what I was getting at. It's like, wait a minute. I don't need to do a perimeter for this because I've already done a perimeter. So maybe it should be like a toggle. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do today is put down some markers for this area here. Just just some markers for today. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. I just want to, I just want to make it clear that there's something going on over here. I love the idea of a toggle, says uh, Poppy. Yeah, it's it's makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I, d I don't I don't think there's really too much of a reason to ever turn your mob farms off unless you like. Even if you want mobs for some reason, you're gonna have to go and find them wherever they're at, <laughs> and that won't be in your perimeter. It's not like you're gonna light up an area in your perimeter and go get some mobs, right? So I don't know, it just makes just makes sense that they would stay on. Like the the reason to turn it off is because you're trying to get another mob farm to work. So the only reason probably to turn it off is if there was like a third mob farm. They would need like a freeway toggle or something. Becca will be lurking. Okay, okay. 
Okay, I'll keep that in mind. You shouldn't use that word in my chat, you know. X, do you think I'm a beacon of hope, says Colby. Colby, you're the ultimate beacon of hope. There was, there was no... I didn't even think we had a beacon of hope in chat until you turned up, Colby, you know. You proclaimed yourself to be a beacon of hope, and I believe in you. Oh, actually, am I... No, no, this is right, this is right. Pretty much everything we're going to build will go on the inside of this path. However, I'm going to claim just a bit across in case we need a bit more, like, flexi space. You know, space that's flexible. Because there's, there's flexible things in this game, isn't there, right? These started out being a little further apart from one another, and then they kind of became more like a wall. <laughs> Whatever. There's that part of my brain that's like, they must be neatly spaced out. And it's like, shut up. Shut up. This is this is 100% temporary. Okay, yeah, we're, we're on track here. And then we check it out again. Morning X, my morning coffee and the stream. What a combo, says Axel. Hey, I've got a hot drink here. I need a couple more minutes before I'm ready to drink it. And I've got a coffee lined up for later. Do you know what it is today in England? It's a rainy day. Oh my god. What, in England? Sorry, X. Do you know where you are right now? Yeah, it's a rainy day in England after some hot weather. And that puts me in the mood for a hot drink. Oh, dude, you just went live as I went to the dentist, says Valenti. Tell the dentist there's more important things to do. No, your teeth are important. Uh, good for you for going to the dentist and getting them checked out, you know. Oral hygiene is good hygiene. Okay, now the reason that this is going to go, like, up to the front of Ren here is because, well, the build won't go right up to his wall. It'll be in this area. Do you know what? I think I'm going to... Um, I was gonna like leave it cut off here, but actually I think we'll just go and have it continue across the front area. Like we are we are not gonna go all the way up to like Ren's doorstep here. But we might need to move these paths about. It's kind of the idea. Am I watching the new Doctor Who? Who? Okay, that was the worst joke ever. Um No. <laughs> No, I am not. To go on a run or not to go on a run? It's six in the morning. I can't decide. Andrew, do it. If you're warmed up, go for it. If there's no reason you shouldn't, just go for it. <laughs> no, you're watching a sumo. Yeah, you're not watching Doc the new Doctor Who. You're watching a sumo. Who? Did I put a four on that last one? Oh, that that puts a, a deep scar in my soul that I did that wrong. It's been a minute since I watched Hermit Craft. The last time was the beginning of season nine, says Colby. And you were my beacon of hope. You've just crushed everything for me. You're, you're not even. You haven't even been watching all the amazing adventures we've been on. Oh my god. I'm crushed. Go for a run on the treadmill whilst watching X as coffee. That's a, that's a good way of doing it. That's a good way of doing it. Yeah, now we're, we're going to... Yeah, we're pretty much going to put like the next one across here. Oh, I thought this was Doctor Who. Better get going then, says Drew Dude. Easy mistake to make, you know. The BBC logo on the screen doesn't help. All those uh, Doctors and all those Whos. You know, that's what Doctor Who's about, isn't it? A bunch of Doctors and they all say Who. I've seen that show. One, two, three. Yeah, he's easily confused. Uh, Lily Beacon, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Colby. Our Beacon of Hope has been gifted a sub. Uh, SW, thank you for gifting a sub to Coffee Bacon. And uh, Haley Bailey, thank you for 43 months. Greatly appreciate the gifting of the subs. If you ever get one gifted, be sure to say thanks in the chat. Hey, X, just curious... Uh, is the podium with the Guardian trophy staying there? Thinking getting that portal built soon 
and just looking to what space I have. That's completely temporary, so feel free to like plan around it. Um, the competition will keep going until the 30th of next month. If you need to take it down before then, though, that's probably not going to be a problem. It's it's just there to grab people's attention for now, and it's probably uh, done as much of that as it's going to do. X, your mega base is coming along. Any plans for it after you're done? Well, I don't have a mega base. I'm officially allergic to mega bases. And uh, no, I, I have absolutely no plans for what's next. And I don't know why I'm reserving this big area here. Actually, I don't. I don't know why I'm doing this. I, I don't think I have any plans for the future anyway. If they're a repeat thing, I can make space in the design to hold the trophies. Um, they might. There might be some other things, but I. I I wouldn't bother because I will just create like another pop-up thing somewhere. Let's have a look here. Yeah, like probably not going to use this space as is, but it's kind of down here that we're going along. Yeah, it'd be really nice if the trophy stuff was like more thought out, but honestly, it's like I'm experimenting as I go. I'm just adding to the ideas that we do. Like the Elder Guardian one is kind of all right because you have to go out there and fight guardians but i think only impulse has really taken to it so far you know i'm i'm the sort of player that if you put down like a minecraft emotive i get interested because it means oh am i gonna have to like build a farm or come up with a redstone contraption or think about some clever way in which to achieve this goal but that doesn't actually appeal to a lot of the other hermits. The other hermits are more creativity driven, um, generally speaking. So, so, you know, we tried a trophy for that, but we're trying trophies for other things. Like participating in a stream weekend gets you a trophy. Pearl, if you don't have yours, um, I've got them on me. All you have to do to get that is have participated in a stream weekend this season. Because I don't think you're you're on it the day that I handed those out. Um, so yeah, all the all the different trophies are like just trying to trying to you know find what works, basically. So maybe later in the season we end up with like our like a bunch of different trophies that people are competing for, and it becomes a thing. But for now we're just trying to like figure out what actually gets stuff going. I'm pretty sure, Pearl, I'm pretty sure you've been involved in one, but I could be mistaken. I, I think Gamers Outreach, you know, you probably deserve a trophy. You probably deserve a Gamers Outreach trophy, you know, so you can have one on that, I think, as well. Um, I'm going to use these today, but this cues us up for what we're going to do next, all right? Got to bring you all up to speed on what's happening. So yesterday's stream, we did the Brewer here. All right, and we're going to use both instant damage and these flash potions of poison. There you go. <laughs> you don't need a trophy for that. I get you. Uh, um, okay. Oh, you missed yesterday. Looking good, says Finchies. We basically just spent the whole stream doing this, right? And I, I've still got some things to figure out about it. Oh yeah, the carts as well. The carts are uh, going to be sent to all the hospitals at one point. Oh, it's left on there. Actually, that's probably how it detects it. So, okay, yeah, so we did this yesterday. And I'm not taking these just because I need to stock up on ingredients, probably build some farms. But, you know, this is this is infrastructure now for potion brewing. Place we're going to use it is over here in this direction. Do you know what? It's absolutely time to start drinking this tea. Oh my god, I always leave it too long. Mmm! <sighs> oh, that is some good tea. Axel, Fredix, thank you so much for subscribing, and Phoenix Fire, thank you for the cheers and biddies. Greatly appreciated. Thank you for supporting uh, the channel with your generosity there. No message, but I will be on the lookout for it in chat if you want to share one. We didn't give you a tea reminder, says Finchies. I appreciate you owning up and taking responsibility for this grave... Grave, uh... 
<laughs> can't, can't think of a, a follow-up word to that. Grave injustice of the tea drinking coldness. I don't know. Words. Whatever. Um, so, this is our Season 7 Dodgeball, aka Volleyball Arena. And I've adapted it for this season. The main thing is just an aesthetic difference. Right? The poison potions get used down the bottom there. I haven't added the dispensers yet. But then you get zinged back up to here. And you play the game by taking the potions out of the barrel and throwing them at each other. So I kind of want to investigate and see. Can we actually get this thing to run using calibrated skulk sensors to detect the throwing of the potions and like give the players new ones? Oh, it's night time. Where on earth will I find a bed? Oh, look, there's one there. Campfiery, thank you for the prime. Dirtomender, thank you for the prime. And Iron Juice, 50 months. Woo, thank you so much, my dude. 50, that's incredible. Is that located on the gaming district? It is, it is. And I want to not only have this game here, but I want to build a stadium around it, which I'm looking forward to doing. Won't be a massive one, but it will be a fun build project. If you know something about me, you might know that I am obsessed with stadiums. I don't know. Well, I do know why. It's because I went to a lot when I was a kid. and I used to draw pictures of them. Uh, but something about, like, football stadiums just, just, I don't know. I find them fascinating. But I, I got to see all of it before they created all these, uh, is that homogenized the word? But all these sort of, like, bland, generic, circular stadiums, right? Like, I got to see all the, uh, the British old school football grounds. Places like, uh, Goodison Park, for example. You know, with, like, just all kinds of bits and bobs everywhere and stadiums and stands squeezed between roads with awkward views and i, I love those those kind of things anyway um so let's jump into this world uh gone blood psycho thank you for your prime cup Plen Gwyn, thank you for your prime as well. Appreciate it, my dude. Appreciate it. Chances are we might end up building something really simple like this. I'll probably go a little bit deeper on the seating, maybe like uh, five or six rows and have like an overhang. And it'll be a bowl just because with the way Minecraft's laid out, it's, it's going to be easier to do a bowl kind of thing. Uh, but what I want to do here is get a calibrated skulk sensor and detect the throwing of the potion. This means we're going to need a lectern and a comparator so we can work with some signal strength. Now we're going to need a written book or a book and quill. Uh, give that thing 15 pages. Put it in here. Okay, so now, page one works like that. Oh, is it really number two? No, wait. Is this thing actually... I thought you, I thought you poked it into the... Hmm. Am I being stupid? Okay, that's kind of weird. What happened there? Go back to number three. Number two. Okay, so jumping is on two. Oh, so's that though. That's on both two and three. This feels more like when you throw it, and this one feels more like. When it lands. Yeah, that's when it lands. But also... Jumping. So... I didn't realise it would do both on the same frequency. So this one... Projectile thrown. Now if I go stand over here... And then I go stand over here... Can you see a problem? We have to deal with range. If we go down to the bottom here... That's a pretty good... Distance, I think. You can kind of you can kind of probably just wing it from there and see do you want one of these in the middle but you need them on both sides which is kind of what I suspected so 
Uh, the very middle of this area, I'd say looks to be about there. Let's go stand outside of the arena. Yeah, and the, the vibration traveled to there. This is going to be underground, so we have to consider that if I throw it from up here, we might be out of range. I, I really think we're going to be absolutely fine with that. Awesome. Item interact finish is free, says uh, Johnson of Donut. That's that's interesting because what if someone is eating food? Why did I not think of like looking these up on the wiki first? So like golden carrots, peeps are going to have these, right? Ah, so people nearby might be using that. Let's go. I'm going to go open up the wiki. And we're going to go to the calibrated skulk sensor. And we'll look at what each of the things are for it. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Landing on any solid block was two. So that, that possibly means an entity, right? Like the... The potion itself landing triggers it. A mob or player taking damage is an interesting one because you can detect, like, a successful hit or not. Eating a food item can be detected. A block deactivating, a block activating, a block charging. Non wall block being destroyed, non wall block being placed, a mob or player teleporting or spawning. A mobile player dying. So if we can detect a player taking damage in the arena, like that could be that could be an interesting thing. I'm just a little concerned now about the range and having spectators interfere with the calibrated skulk sensors, right? It is possible we could calculate all of that. But everything's kind of spherical. So there'll be like these bleed areas around the edges. Players standing here would likely be able to mess with it. Um now, they take damage around this area if they come out with a poison potion. They could be still taking damage when they're at this spot here. So the main thing is putting these in a spot where we minimize the amount of disruption from using an item. So that's fishing pole, throwing a snowball, drinking a potion, and drinking milk. If we detected damage without the player back here knowing about it, like like taking damage here isn't an issue, and you go into the arena, then, hmm. Oh, now my brain's ticking over a little bit. We could detect a player dying, basically, on either side. But what would we do with that? We could do something like light up a scoreboard. I don't think I don't think it's really that necessary. The issue is I'm now seeing ways in which we can make this more elaborate. But like what would be the outcome of that elaborateness? And so far it's like, well, you could put up a scoreboard. And you know how this stuff works. Like you give yourself a headache by adding a scoreboard and then finding all these edge cases where it can break and become redundant. Yeah, so that's signal strength seven. I think we're just gonna stick with the one that we're on. Wall underground. Oh yeah, wall blocks the signal. So actually, we might be able to use wall to dampen the range a little bit. That's a good point. That's a good point. Although I think it's very direct. So like, let's see if I do that. It actually, it actually comes from me, the player, and not where the projectile lands. Now that... Interesting. Why is that one not getting activated? Is it because I'm sneaking? Dude, what? Oh, wait. You, Wally. This one, that one's not even configured. Okay, so like, slight problem. If you're sneaking, it doesn't count. No sneaking might have to be a rule. Because if a player does that... Ah, uh, that's annoying. 
That's annoying. Magma blots also hurt players. Very good point. Very good point. Yeah. We've got to keep this as simple as possible, I think. Is Kiwi01, thank you for your Prime subscription. Posterner, thank you for 27 months. Belania, thank you for gifting a sub to the Onyx Fire. Appreciate that ever so much. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> hmm. Because we've, cause we've already built the uh, arena so much, I think if I were to do like a ground up rework, we could create the arena size all based on the range of the calibrated skulk sensor and then maybe take it a little bit further, but I think I might just save that for later. You know, have a have a more convoluted game at a later point. I'm really annoyed about that though. Let me double check here. So... Like, landing on a solid block counts. Let's borrow that. Put it to page two. So we can detect that. See, that, that sets off both of them. And that will set off one, but so will this. If it was slightly differently balanced, we could possibly make like an AND gate between them to detect the exact event. I don't want to have a rule that says no shifting. Hmm. A mob or player taking damage. So if you dodge the dodgeball, like that's... Just wondering if there's like a group of them that add up here. Hmm. Can you detect a player sneaking? I don't think you can. Detect the potions landing from way below the arena with a whole Y level of sensors for each side. That's a mad way to do it, but I know what you mean. You have the peak of its detecting range here, so it's vertically low down. Then you have a constant grid of them, and then you pick up the redstone below it. But even then, uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So you could have redstone coming off the side and then get a signal from it. And what if it lands like there? <laughs> like right in the middle. I guess you would have one big grid. Hmm. It's very spammy. Don't like that, but it's possibly the best way to do it. That take like I don't have a skulk farm. It'd take a lot of work then. I only need two skulk sensors, otherwise I need tons. Spokey, they wouldn't be calibrated because they'd just be well. That's the thing, actually. Then they would also detect the um, player footsteps. Huh. So can't do that. Gerbil, MC, thank you for the subscription. The Wolf of Paris, thank you for the prime as well. Honestly, it kind of looks like we have to say no shifting, which is going to be a very reflexive thing players will do. Oh, it's really disappointing that, that you can sort of bypass it by holding shift. So yeah, you can't detect a player sneaking. Just wondering if that should still be an AND gate. Yeah, you see, if that, if this one over this side set off instead of that, then it would be perfect, but no. They could rebind shift. They could, but like you really, you really don't want players to be doing stuff like that before they play a game. Can't you do pressure plates on the floor? Like, what would that achieve? It would it would really sacrifice a lot of the aesthetic here as well. I don't I don't understand what having pressure plates would do. Make noise to sim clash, yeah. They'll probably make it more complicated. Try signal fifteen. That's a mob or a player dying. 
or an explosion happening. I mean, maybe, maybe what you're saying is like, it might turn up on that. No, it doesn't. None of these, none of these other ones, by the way, look like they would have any kind of like anything close to a potion detected. Unless four is a unique action, which is probably not. Yeah, that's not. So yeah, basically we have to go with three and just say like, don't hold, don't hold down shift when you play. Which might be easier because that players aren't gonna. They want to run around and keep moving, so it might not be too much of an issue. Anyway. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this. Like, part of the plan was to go and build this, but now I'm, I'm starting to feel more like, eh, we'll wait and see, we'll wait and see. So, that's roughly the middle, right? So, about there. Now, here's the thing. Clear this hot bar. Okay, here's here's the thing. Now now we gotta like I think I think we just need like a bit of a flip flop actually after this. I'm gonna get rid of this in the middle here too. Because we'd put all of this underground is the idea. Okay, so let's say both of these Do I want both of them detecting? problem is if it lands in the middle and they both catch it right and because we're dealing with spherical radius we can't we can't really get that to work in our favor so sometimes only one will activate and sometimes the other will but when they both activate there is potentially like the slightest delay is what i'm thinking but it might not be enough for it to be a problem so see. I don't think this is enough to be a problem. Uh, bad narrator, thank you for gifting a sub to P4Ps. Appreciate you uh, doing that, Madhu. Thank you so much. Let's say we just add... Four. Well, that's... I'm thinking pulse extender, but the pulse of the calibrated skulk sensor is probably longer. Where's the border is kind of what I'm getting at. Right, both of them get activated. And there's no double blinking of this redstone pulse. I thought we might need a pulse extension here in case, like, the delay. Because the vibration has to travel to the skulk sensor, right? But now, basically, wherever we throw one in the arena... Alright. You're going to get a pulse there in the middle. So what you need is... Uh, we need, hmm. What I'm going to build, I feel like... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, there is... Th I know the way to do this. Okay, so... We got that. Uh... The thing is, its outputs are going to be like here and here. And we want one to go around to the other side. Oh, actually, we could just we could just replace that. Okay, that works. Uh, then we grab, oops, a dispenser. Now the dispenser you'd probably want to put sort of semi-central. But oh no no, we'll, we'll put it at like the back of the arena. This is also going to need like a hopper feeding into it, and that will get plenty of time when it's unlocked to feed in. Yeah yeah okay. So now you just don't want the redstone to travel too far. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, maybe don't connect. Well, this is this is probably a good candidate or reason to, uh, yeah, swap this around so it faces the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Don't even need to count that really, do we? Don't actually even think that's necessary. Oh. Um, I guess we do need that block. Yeah, that's kind of it, really. That's kind of all we need, so... Oh, um, yeah, my bad, my bad. So that's why that's why I initially went with that, but then I imagined this thing was being powered by one tick. The problem, the problem here is that will create two. I just want it to create one. What's the simplest way to create one? Like you can do the old piston going up. But then it feels like we're doubling up. I think you might have to just double up, right? So that might literally just be a necessary component for this. Uh, let's go back to the redstone one, right? Oh no, I've got that wrong as well. What am I thinking then? Is that what I'm thinking of? No, that's now bud powering it. Copper bulb T flip flop. Thank you. Thank you. That is probably the way, right? Probably the absolute way. I knew there was something that's come in and replaced that. I just keep forgetting like what it is. Uh, where's our waxed oxidized copper bulb? Ah, it's not actually in this world because I'm on 1.20.4. We don't have it enabled? Interesting. Anyway, is this like is this like the last of it though? Yeah, you would just have a wax copper bulb into the comparator here. So it would look more like this. You'd have your wax copper bulb, and then here your redstone would go like that. If I'm not mistaken, that would be it. So then it's just going to alternate sides. Uh, these wouldn't be dispensers. They would be droppers so that the item goes up through the block. And then at the back of the arena, you're going to have a uh, potion. Now, if you wanted to start the game, we do have this, like, who starts over here. But I think what we'll do is just have it so that, like... Whatever state this is in, it will just be the last one before. So this will become uh, an input of sorts. Let's see. Let's put a button on it. And that will simply go into there and start the game. So like when you've ended a game, there's no potions in the arena. But then you just change the state of that and the potion gets dispensed. Right? And that's it. Lillian, you have to uh, redeem the code on the Minecraft redeem website. Zoza Woza, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Neon Zek. Appreciate you doing that, my dude. So, I think this will work. Unfortunately, you have to tell players not to shift or it'll break. But in which case, like they can just come over here and press the button if it fails. And that's if we want to play with automation. Otherwise, they just take potions out of uh, these barrels here, right? I was going to build this today, but I don't have any skulk sensors. And I feel like I should wait just in case I come up with another idea on how to make that work. Because that, unfortunately, does not detect the event exactly as we would like it. Ah. <sighs> Finchies, um, Twitch is pretty heavy on the ads, so it is what it is. Well, I think I'm going to stand up now. I've been sat for a while. My bum is numb. I don't like sitting too much after I run as well. I feel like it tightens up my hamstrings. You got the 15-year Twitch capes today. Nice one, nice one. Tango might sell them. That is true, actually. That is true. Tango might sell the, the Skulk stuff. Should we go have a look? 
If he does, then I'll probably build it. <laughs> Just get that done with, you know. I like the way that sort of builds itself into focus. That's kind of cool. He does not, says Strandberg. Oh. Why are we heading over here, eh? Soon find out. Someone's got the permits. Permits for a store. Is Skulk classified as redstone, though? I heard a noise. It didn't sound like squishy codfish. Oh, coming soon. Okay. I almost thought it was like a drop down. I was like, we're going to drop into something, you know? You can see there's a little bit of an edge there. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's like a random chance that it'll hit the target block and... And then you get told the accuracy. Huh. <laughs> what a weird little contraption. And then... <laughs> the chicken died. That's so weird. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. <clears throat> Astronomy... Astrom... Oh my god. Astromicax... Thank you for two months. I don't know why, but that totally trips me up trying to say that. You're loving this season. I'm glad you are, my dude. I'm glad you are. Ironically, uh, one of the things I need to do next is stock up my redstone supplies. Lucro says, iterating on my skulk below the arena idea, you could set up a row of sensor parallels to the middle border. Have their ranges just barely overlap the front and the back borders. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't like the idea of building that big array. Wait, someone's come over here and chopped down all the trees, I swear. Looks like it's been cleaned out more. This is the uh, spawn chunks, by the way. Future live stream project is to uh, work on that at some point. See, so, yeah, I've been doing so much redstone lately. I mean, the amount of blocks I'm getting through is ridiculous. So I made a note that I should probably stock up. Although actually it's not too bad. It's like pistons. Note blocks. Okay, observers. There are there are a few essentials here, you know, you know. Uh, what have we got lying around? So I do have some cobble. Uh, done with that. And these. There's my pistons. Uh, we want to make yeah this is the thing i'm running out i'm running out of cobble and i was going to build a cobblestone generator but i now got a new supply i just remembered i uh i found a stash of cobble so we're good we're good really we want redstone and quartz next i think i am the doctor thank you so much for your 22 months of support my dude appreciate it hope you're uh, enjoying the stream we've also got Zero Bay Y gifting a sub to Riot Regions. Thank you for gifting the sub. Much appreciated. Um, what are we trying to do here? Observers, I think. Oh, that's why they're on another page. Yeah, we want all of that done up. We want more hoppers, of course. We need slime blocks and honey blocks. Want redstone topping up. Dispensers are getting kind of low. Don't like that. Oh, what were we crafting here? Hello. Dispensers! With some leftovers, apparently. Let's get that out of there. Don't want it messing up the next one. Oh, there's actually... Okay, there's some bows still ready to go, I guess. Huh. Don't know what happened to all of that, but it looks like it messed up somehow. Okay, so dispensers are topped up. Comparators are kind of low. We'll make half a stack of those. Or just a full stack, really. Uh, quartz again, right? Uh, Phoenix Fire. I swear I read that same username read out, just spelt differently earlier. Thank you for a tier one subscription, my dude. Appreciate it. 
Sumi, you should make a silly thing which is completely useless that you can spend on the Twitch Dirt coins on. Should I? I think people really want that face reveal, right? What does chat want? Do you want the face reveal or silly things? Maddie 705 thank you ever so much for your Prime subscription. Appreciate it, my dude. Thank you. Let's uh, turn those into sticks. Not that I have a bunch of chests. Now that I think about it, whatever. Got chests or the sticks. Uh, Wolf, 1098, thank you for the prime. Chat is overwhelmingly saying face reveal. See what I mean? See what I mean? Look, every message in chat is just like, face reveal, we want that. Overwhelmingly face reveal here. Right, slime blocks, honey blocks. Uh, we've got to make some more hoppers. Hibbity hoobity hoppers. People are getting close, you know. I think there's something like, uh, I don't know, several several million hours of watch time left to get there, right? It's not far away at all. You know, the universe has only been around for several billion years. I mean, we've got plenty of time. There we go. There's a bunch of chests. Not enough. We'll make some more. I do, you know, in, in Loglands, I do have, like, a lot of this stuff just auto-crafted, but then you got to go take a trip over there and grab it, right? I feel like maybe Loglands should be my base. <laughs> I should be in there just close to all those farms. Okay, so then we want note blocks. I've not made any more lightning rods. I haven't even used any lightning rods. That'll kind of do me, really. It's just uh, note blocks here. So that plus redstone is note blocks. I just need a few million points more, says Edsa. Yeah, yeah, just a few million more. So close, right? Very good. And then we got like some tough to put away. And then some cobble. See, that was necessary. That will help me for future projects. Becca, thank you for the cheers and bits. Saying more derp coins. Oh, do you get derp? Do you get bit bitty? No, wait, what am I saying? Do you get derp coins for doing cheers and bits? Is that how that works? You can buy your way to a face reveal. Jeez. Lord system. Corrupt, is it? Ren's online. Why did Ren log in? Not that I'm paying that much attention. <laughs> uh, Belania, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. Project list. Um, we've done some very basic stuff to begin with. Very basic stuff. I want to do a pass on this again to light it up. I really need to get this room sorted out as well. As we do, okay, as we do a pass on the base again, which is mainly going to consist of glow lighting and bushes, I think. Like, light it up and bushify it. Like we've done before. Now, our, our main bushes are, as hang on, let's double check. Like, azalea, I think. We do a lot of azalea, and when it hangs off of something, we put flowering bushes on the bottom. Um, Forgill has shared a poll with me and overwhelmingly 99.9% .9 of you voted for face reveal incredible thank you for doing that for gil i really appreciate that i mean that just solidifies my point doesn't it we used um we used a lot of vines i'm noticing like we've got oak leaves occasionally uh wait what if this is the wrong see there's different types of chests there's some that are just overflow speaking of which distractions why are those separated? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I got all of these items to sort now, right? Jeez, that's a lot of stuff. That's all the overflow. That can all go in there. Right. Yeah, 
Leaves, glow lichen, vines are important. String is often used in the pass. Go check it out. Uh, what else have we used for details? I think that's kind of it. That's kind of the main thing for the overgrown feeling around here. That sheep is still hanging out on that ledge. Incredible. After all this time. Also, every time I look at that overhang, I keep thinking it needs some more uh, structure to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some tough walls on that little bit. Just feel like that's what it needs. Wait, let's use the uh, this thing, the stone cutter. Go put some pillars in. I know I'm forgetting something. Maybe glowberries. Occasionally, glowberries hanging down. So that means we need shears. So glowberry and shears. Maybe a little bit of uh, hanging roots too. I'm sure there's something I'm forgetting here though. Okay, got those. Make some shears. Uh, Parapaluk, thank you ever so much for subscribing. Ensert, thank you for your uh, subscription as well. Appreciate it, my dude. Thank you. X, we don't need, we don't want to see your ugly mug anyways. It's got tea in it. Yuck, says Becca. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I had something in mind a second ago, and it's just wandered. Just wandered. Like I should be able to see it as well, right? Like out here. I don't know what it was. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Put in those pillars. Because they've been annoying me for a while. Now, this overhang just don't look right to me. I think it'll look better with a little bit of that. Four. Uh, wait, one, two, three, four, there. Here. And now, it's a little more reasonable, isn't it? It's a little more reasonable. That I like a lot. That I prefer greatly. Okay, that's that taken care of, right? Bill says he doesn't want to reveal his face because he is really the Doom guy. How did you know it? Oh, you've... Jeez, you've spoiled the secret. Let's, um... Let's switch things up. So, hotkeys, mini huds, light levels. And, uh, back to the stream. Excellent. Right. Azalea, question mark. Roots, question mark. Yeah, roots hanging off these top bits might have been a good idea. So, yeah, it's this level here that's mostly complete. It's, it's kind of a bit boring because the whole way around... It's just like an elevated platform until you get to over there. So. Let us grab these bushes and those vines and these things. Uh, we can't do glowberries because that's a slab, so. Oh, we've already done lighting a little bit, but no harm in doing a bit of texture. Yeah, this whole this whole area is like overgrown. It might might even overgrow it to the point where like you couldn't even walk along it anymore. You know? And then when it comes to the vines, the way these spread are so awkward. It's always tricky to figure out where they're gonna go. That's looking alright. That's looking a bit more overgrown. And we haven't actually thought about this too much, have we? This is an important part of it too. Like having some come over the edges is kind of important. I think in that corner maybe. Somewhere around here possibly. We'll see. Keller, yay! Thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Maybe some glow lichen? Yeah, we got glow lichen here, there and everywhere. 
Definitely helps to put a few patches though on, on these bits. So I reckon around here as well, like. Uh, yeah, that'll do actually. Just a little bit hanging over the edge. Okay, so this this is all fine to me so far. And then this area here is where I'll have a few of those coloured ones. Maybe some vines in between. See, I think they spread like around the block as well. So you like got to come back and check on them. It's kind of annoying. And then maybe just at the edge here, it like it's gotten a bit wild, a bit out of control around this spot. That was some glow lichen. We'll put it back. And then that means we can put some blocks at this level too. Like, it's really it's really sort of grown way too much over here, and that's fine. That's the point. All right. That definitely, that adds a lot, just having a few overgrown bits like that, doesn't it? almost feel like there should be more over here in a ways. And this is kind of what I'm looking for. This is how we, uh, you know, level things up is just keep, keep putting a little bit more to it. Leave me alone, buddy. That's why. Yeah, I like that a lot now. That feels really good. Okay, so then... Coming into this area, I mean, I could use this space for something, right? It's quite spacious. I'm wondering if it's worth brainstorming a little bit as to what might go here. Like, we did a pagoda, so I don't think we're going to put another one of those in. I like the idea of having like a patio, or not a patio, what am I trying to say? Like, I don't know, an area for seating and stuff. A little statue, that's a great idea, that is a great idea. Okay, statue could go there, yeah. So maybe this like overgrown walkway bit could extend back here, like we just put tons of bushes here, like it's completely unkept. But then in this little area there's a clearing and a statue, that's a great idea, I think the statue's is something we want to aim to finish actually there's a there's a lot of like um statue spots i say a lot i can think of one in the middle that i haven't done but if we keep coming up with them you know there's there's room for more basically right lots of that and then we'll come in and just go this is going to be so overgrown that pretty much all of this here is filled up. That's kind of the uh, sort of border I'm looking for, I guess. I reckon we could we could mix in some spruce in this area down in the bottom bits, like where there's less leaves. It's a bit dark and yucky. Oh, that's sort of the, the thought process behind it. Let's go grab some more leaves. We're going to need more. All right, so I think two two statues could be a good idea. A water fountain's not a bad idea as well. Am I ever going to play No Man's Sky again? It's a really cool game. I've enjoyed it every time I've played it, and I'm always like excited to hear about the updates that they bring to it. Um, but it's unlikely because yeah, Hermitcraft takes so much of your time, and that's not a bad thing, of course, but... It's kind of like, a, you know, I've always said like I'm a one world Minecrafter. It's kind of like that, like, you know, you're, you're, you, if you're doing other stuff, like you can't do Hermitcraft to the kind of, excuse me, level that it, I wouldn't say demands, but you know. There's a high level of input here among everyone. Should we get some birch in there as well? I can't help but feel that might be the way to go. 
Phoenix Fire, thank you for gifting subs to Dot Inkling, Cremation, Secret Agent, Maddie Plays, and Lawrence. Very kind of you to do that. Thank you so much. We've got Lex the Ranger here subscribing too. Thank you, Lex. If you hear your name being read out loud, be sure to say thanks in the chat. Another interesting game they made is Light No Fire. It looks visually interesting. What's it about, but Sounds, uh, well. I mean, I don't know what it sounds like, but that studio now has a bit of credibility, I guess. So, um, bottom layer is really actually going to be spruce, isn't it? I think we'll go all in for this idea. This has become so overgrown that, like, the leaves at the bottom have become a bit ugh. Right, so a little methodology to what we're doing here is always important. Okay, here's my idea. Uh, we'll only have like a couple of bits of spruce on the edges that go up. Because they're the darkest leaf, right? And now we're going to sort of put in the birch next. So the birch is going to go on these edges and a little closer to the front here. So like in spots where we're building it up. That's where we're putting this birch in. And I'm trying to I'm trying to avoid the middle. And get more on these edges here. So I'd say I'd say that's pretty good. Maybe fill in some spots on the edge a bit more. Okay, definitely on this side. And then definitely over here. Right, so now that we got that going on, we want to top it off with Azalea. And we kind of want to cover like a lot of what we've already placed here. But then in places, let it poke out a little bit too. I feel like it's working. It is definitely working. Uh, maybe not there, though. Maybe we need a spot where you just kind of see some of the sprucey bits, too. Yeah, that feels about right. So now, you know, it's subtle, but there are these, like, darker patches. Right? And a lot of this stuff is just on the top. Uh, growing down the side. Let's go put... Uh, actually, I think I'm going to put these on top of the leaves around here. Or maybe not. Like, there's no lighting issues already. And it will be like the bushes are glowing a little bit. So maybe let's not add extra lighting up top. Okay. So that's that bit there. Hmm. And we probably we probably need to focus on stuff drifting off of the wall again around this side. Uh, dear Shemi, thank you for 68 months. Whip whoop. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm typing, but hey, yo. <laughs> thank you for 68 months. I appreciate it. Uh, it's a game about adventure building, survival, and exploration together, set on a fantasy planet the size of Earth. It brings. The depth of role playing to the freedom of the survival sandbox. Sounds interesting. I guess over here we didn't have too much like overgrown stuff on the front. In fact, now that we go around, yeah, it was kind of on the sides and the back more. We didn't actually do a crazy amount of stuff being over overgrown off the side there. But it, it sort of sells it a little bit. Like this area is really not used a lot. And then you got that whole thing. Uh, from that angle, looks a bit over the top, I've got to admit. It's just a bit too uh, bit too much one colour, I think, was the issue. When you look in at it. kind of We've kind of covered all of it with the one colour. You want to see a bit more of those other colours in here, I think. 
Okay. Actually, I want one. I want one to go a little bit higher. That's for sure. Now it looks a bit more manageable. I think. Okay, then down here we're gonna have flowering bush, I think. But that might do it now for the overgrown part. I think that might do it. This needs something more to it though. Like these areas, they need things in them. I, I don't know quite what they are yet. But as long as we're wandering around and adding stuff, like it'll help a lot. Because now now I feel like that area is pretty complete. Like around here, there's not too much more to do. Maybe on the second level. But we still haven't finished um, figuring out exactly how all that's going to work. Okay, up to the top we go. Going to grab our uh, glow like in here. Hi, Xform. Thank you ever so much for subscribing, my dude. Appreciate it. Hope you're uh, enjoying the stream, having a good time. Yeah, I don't really want to spam these too much. Sort of my thinking. There's a, there's a too wide bit here, isn't there? Doesn't quite get to that. Right, where are we? In line with that? Put one there. I don't know. Gotta do the lighting of that when we do the potion bit. Cool. Hey, there's something I want to do here that I've just realized I should really be chipping away at. Like, I know I'm going to put, like, a sand pit here and have turtles and stuff. But I should be breeding turtles to begin with, right? And I've been meaning to um, do that periodically. It just popped into my head, like, oh, there's this thing you're supposed to be doing. CD the player, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Silver Sorceress. Very kind of you to do that. Oh, I don't have any bone meal. I could have swore I put some in my inventory. What's your approach to resource gathering in Minecraft? I'm kind of worried the amount of blocks I need for a build. Uh, say what? You're worried about the amount of blocks? Well, as long as you uh, count them, you'll be alright. Okay, uh, let's go down here. And do this. That is quite honestly probably all I'm going to need right now. These little suckers need breeding. Look at this. It's not lit up around here, is it? Oh, there's already quite a few um, turtles here. So I don't know how many I should take because someone else is doing this. I'm going to take these three. Anyone else need breeding? There's quite a lot of them here. Let's add some glow lichen too. Keep them lit up. Yeah, I need to keep doing that. I need to keep grabbing some turtle eggs. And I think they may or may not have a spot somewhere in here. Oh, look, they do. We're up to nine turtle eggs now. I don't know how many turtles I want in total. Probably not a crazy amount because it's not really going to be like a turtle egg farm. It's just going to be something cool to have in our little base. Some turtles. You know, hey, we're being raided. Which I just noticed. Also, Cats and Hun, thank you so much for two months. Greatly appreciated. Uh, Tenacho, thank you so much for bringing your peeps over here. Thank you for the raid. I'll assume... Greetings from Spain. Awesome. Awesome. I imagine nicer weather over there. It's rainy here today. Yeah, I'm going to assume you're from the Minecraft community. Thanks for bringing your peeps over. We're playing on Hermitcraft. And we're just we're just kind of like doing a pass on the base. We're doing lots of little things that need doing. Details can be kind of grindy, but uh, we might even do a little bit of building in a moment. Because I'm, I'm never sure when I stream what the impetus is going to be, right? Like sometimes you come into a stream with uh, a bit of a plan. Something that really needs doing. Get in there, take care of it. That's awesome. Other times you're not so sure, and there's all this stuff that needs doing. 
I just hadn't really decided on uh, which thing I wanted to do quite yet. Uh, let's go ahead and put that there and there then. That'll work. Ah, uh, no it won't. Go on then. Uh, you know, I want to sort of minimize the use of it a little bit. But, you know, from down below you rarely see this kind of stuff, so that's fine. Got a couple of ledges here. This will eventually just have lights in the room. I think I'm just going to slap that there for now. And I'll put a light in at some point. So, other places mobs can spawn. Yeah, look at this. They can spawn on the tower. I don't know if I should put vegetation on the tower. Like we did over here. Kind of helped it a little bit. I just think this is a little too slim for that. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, the beacon beams don't provide light, do they? Okay, okay, okay. Let's get in here. Yeah! Yeah, I don't want to put any vegetation at the top. But down at this level, I think some falling off the side might be a good idea. Uh, and which side would it be? I think this side. Something like that. A little bit of glow lichen. Some over on this side. I think we need another bit that's uh, coming off the edge too. Here we could have it kind of like go down that side. Do something like that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, those blocks there are good. And what about these ones? Not that one. Okay. Another thing I probably did was put random glow lichen on the side of the build. I did that lower down, but not higher up. It's going to look interesting at night now, isn't it? This is both like illumination, but also just breaks up the texture a bit. Which is important, again. Get on top of that. Yeah, so we've done, we done a pass there. We went around all the sides. Now let's put a few bits of glow like in downwards as well. Okay. Bit trickier to do it here. Oh yeah, and this one's a little bit lower. Forgot about that. So coming down to this level, continue doing the glow lighting thing for now. Ah! I was holding shift and jumping. Uh, oh, oh my word. Learn to play Minecraft, jeez. Oh god, how many ender pearls? Yeesh. Right, we get there in the end. We get there in the end. Yeah, let's put a couple of... Hmm. Couple spots of that. This whole thing glowing real good. Right, now as for doing more bushes on that thing. We've got to add our flowering ones there. It looks pretty pretty alright actually. But it definitely needs more the further down we go. I'm, I'm getting that feeling. Uh, Tho Fox, thank you so much for the prime, my dude. Appreciate it. Oh, wait, we did that side. We did that side. Oh, my God. I seem to just be terrible at jumping today. What is wrong with me? Uh, where is the lowest point here? It is that bit. Okay, so. Do that. And then sort out these spots. A little bit of oh, whoops, just a little bit of flowering there. Yep, that's real nice. Run out of glow like an haven't I? Uh, Jackie of the Wisp says, Every time I see a hermit build, I get a bit jealous of the skill. 
Why, why jealousy? I never understand that emotion. Like, first of all, if you see someone doing something cool, something good, like, feel good for them. I don't know. That's, that's how my brain works. It's like, oh, wow, that's awesome. The other thing is, like, is it a skill or is it what I'm doing right now? Like, I am just chipping away at this to make it look better over and over again. You know, we start with big bland shapes and then we, we put in that grind time just coming over here and adding the blocks one by one. When, you, when you're adding blocks one by one, there's just a little bit of like technique and thought behind it. Once you start putting those things into your builds, like they will elevate. I know this because <laughs> I have not always been able to build this way. I've had to learn how. And uh, an important thing is to not tell yourself that you can't or that someone's better and you'll never be able to do that. It's just a case of you just got to learn. You just, you know. I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm not a big believer in this idea of like innate talent. I, I don't think people uh, who we say are talented, I almost think sometimes we're doing them a bit of a disservice. Where it's like, Okay, do you just have some sort of natural gift? Maybe. I think I think we all have directions and things we're interested in that come from within, you know, and maybe it's a little hard to explain. Maybe it's just something that caught your curiosity and your youth or whatever and became a passion. But like people who are good at something have probably put a lot of effort into getting good at it. Like a lot of time, you know? A lot of patience and practice, and it's almost like a disservice to just say, oh, it's just talent, you know, you're just talented. It's like, well, you maybe you're talented now, but like when you were born, you definitely couldn't build like this. So something had to happen between you being born and like now for you to be able to do this kind of stuff. And what is that? It's usually practice. It's usually putting in like a lot of time and effort and getting good at something. It's not just some mystical thing that happens. And I think there's a, a strong notion to like romanticize that kind of stuff. Like someone's just born with it, you know. Whereas actually, no, maybe they worked really hard for that. Maybe they put in a lot of time and effort. Cabin Turtle says, what about people like Messi? He was a legend from the start. Yeah, like Messi didn't turn, you know, eight years old and just like all of a sudden start like beating everyone at football right like he was a kid and he probably grew up kicking a football you know what I mean you just, like there probably aren't many examples of some you know kid turning up on the soccer field for his first day of football practice and beating all the professionals is there but potato says he started with friends and a football yeah or family like it probably just started like it does for every other kid all right just kicking a kicking a football around the house you know jumpers for goalposts that's how that's how it starts for uh most people right most kids coming footballers so i don't i don't believe in these uh, ideas of like Mozart was pushed by his father, says Skulking Ghost. Yeah, like, I don't, you know, is his music genius and brilliant? Absolutely, but, like, I don't think he was born with it. I think he found it through playing and learning. And that's something we can all do. We can all play and learn. And if we hold on to these ideas that, oh, you know, some people are just born with it, it's like we write ourselves out of that equation. I'm not saying you can now become messy. I'm just saying... Let's not discount the fact that you are capable of a lot if you put in the time and effort to something. There's a lot of things you can do because you have time ahead of you and you can put that time into learning something. Like, you know, I, I got my guitar videos, right? People say, you know, oh, you know, X, you're, you're good at playing guitar as well. Wow, or whatever. But I wasn't in 2015, right? I wasn't then. I hadn't played for years. I had barely touched my guitar. But I decided to pick it up and start playing again. And guess what? I weren't very good. <laughs> but I kept playing and playing and playing. It's about wanting to, right? Having a will to learn the thing, says Riker. 
That'll go a long way, I imagine. It must be a lot harder to try and learn something when you don't really want to. So I imagine that that goes a long way. This is this is kind of lacking a little variation, I think. Like we've put in the same leaf over and over again. And what I've done elsewhere is just sprinkle in a little oak here and there. And we definitely need that on this, this build. So let's get back up there and do another pass. I like calling it a pass as well. Because notice how like we're not building it first time. We're figuring it out. So we like come back and add to what we've already done. And it makes it a little better. And that's that's something you have to, again, learn, right? You have to learn these things. You have to listen. Like, I've listened to my other hermits talk about, you know, building techniques and rhyme and reason behind what they're doing. And I can see how, yeah, this absolutely adds so much. Like, right now, if we um, keep doing this thing where we've got, like, this one bush type everywhere and it's it's got a little bit of color variation and, you know, whenever it's hanging down, you see the, the flowering bits at the bottom... That rhyme and reason goes a long way because you don't have to think about it when you see it. So when other people see your builds and they notice like, oh, well, they don't even notice it. It's subconscious. It's just like, of course the bushes are doing that, right? Every time every time you see them, there's there's that kind of element of the, the flowering bit hanging down. And we don't need to go crazy. Like, as long as we've got it in a few spots, it'll do its thing. In fact, I think it's quite nice at the moment. It's quite a nice spread, I would say. Hmm. Yes. Some things certainly come easier to different people, but it can take you so far. There is a pattern that gifted children tend to have harder time in their adult life because they didn't learn properly how to improve themselves. There's Calcideron. Interesting. I wouldn't I wouldn't know too much about that. But yeah, yeah, there's obviously signs of like Kids that you know naturally gravitate for some towards something because I'm not I'm not saying genetics isn't a part of this. Genetics is uh, gonna gonna play a role, but it's not the whole picture at all. And even if you're genetically gifted, it doesn't give you a free pass. You have to put in hard work to achieve things. You know. I reckon we're gonna end up with a little bit of uh, this kind of action, at least on that side. There's not really too many places to hang them from here. I think I think it'd be kind of smart just to change a couple of these so we can hang some glowberries. Like, not that it even matters if anyone notices, but like, change it to that and then the glowberry can hang down. I think I'll do that on this one here where it's a bit noisy. That's another thing with a build is like, can be quite easy to start like distributing things quite evenly but then but then you notice that so you know like having moments where it's a bit more quiet and then it gets noisy again can be a good idea yeah I'm just i'm just winging this each time just putting a few leaves here and a few leaves there Feels, just feels what feels right, you know? Um, we could have some more overhang here. However, I think when we do it, it'll be on this spot. It'll be on this side going over. Like, all of this will get overgrown. And that'll probably complement what we got going on there. The The issue is I haven't figured out this yet. Hmm. Mark Jason, thank you so much for subscribing. Goldie Gaming, thank you for the Prime. Very much appreciated. So, peeps, what I think's next for us is... I think we need to start solidifying these rooms and thinking about how they connect together. Right, there's also there's also space here. And I do have a list of farms that's coming together. So why don't we do a little bit of brainstorming together and like look at these empty spaces and think about what will fit into them. Because I've had this idea recently of like, um, if we pipe gunpowder in automatically from our mob farm and have a sugarcane farm in the area, we could design it in a way where it automatically crafts and refills our um, this barrel right here. And you can see that it wouldn't be difficult at all to feed in some hoppers. So, like, there's room for a sugarcane farm. A sugarcane farm can be pretty small and compact, right? And we've got the little staircase. So maybe, maybe we, you know, we don't try to go crazy and figure everything out, but we'll start to look at this space as an opportunity to put in some farms and things like that. How does that sound? Because uh, that's that's kind of what I want to do next, right? Um, but right now, 
I'm gonna go make a uh, decaf coffee. Gonna go enjoy that. Oh my god, we've been streaming for an hour and a half. I don't believe it. I I thought we were like one hour in. I can go a little longer today as well if I wanted to, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, yeah, if you'd be so kind as to check out the music on the screen, if you've not done so before, that is my music, and it would mean so much to me. You've probably heard me say, like most of you here, probably heard it a thousand times, but I keep saying it anyway. Uh, I will be right back, peeps. Just going to go make a decaf, and then we're going to crack on with some base design, I think. I am back with a hot decaf. Oh, yeah. Welcome back, they said in chat. Thank you very much. Ooh, right, I'm sitting down. Couldn't imagine being a TikTok user, says the good lizard Dillian. That's because you're already distracted by the next thing. You're already, you're already on to the next thing. You get it? Uh, there's probably a better way of doing that joke, isn't there? I tried my best, though. Rainbow Kretsch, thank you for the prime. Hot Top Harry, thank you for seven months. Tenali says I had a legitimate heart attack. You know, when you have a heart attack, best thing to do, get in a Twitch chat. Tell it. Don't tell medical professionals, no. Then the heart attack won't do what it's supposed to. Jeez. I got a little grim. I think this this thing here is going to have uh, windows in it, but I was kind of thinking this might not be a bad spot for some sort of weird sugarcane farm that on occasion you might just see like activate from the outside. Hmm. I also I was also thinking that like 
the shipping gunpowder over here will probably be an absolute pain because you've got to like get it under a bunch of stuff, get it up, send a redstone signal to send it back when like it's full up here. So I think we'll just have like a shulker box spot that will turn on a lamp to tell you when it's empty. Um, but that'll involve having a crafter. But yeah, um, let's start with that little building over there. People have used literally so much as in not literally. It now means the opposite at the same time. Yeah, I noticed that. I, I, I don't like seeing it on Twitter. Twitter. Twitter takes people's opinions and like strips out the depth of nuance and conversation and turns it into a pointy little stick. The amount of times I've seen, this is literally blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, it's literally not. <laughs> like... It's, it's used now as an emphasis word, and it's kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. Anyway, um... Like, how's this looking? Yeah, we've... I still, you see, I still really want to work on this bit, which is why I'm now thinking, oh, you know, we need to get a sugarcane farm up in here. I think it's my brain just trying to... make everything work together. So, like, if we put sugarcane in here... It would actually create somewhat of an interesting spectacle from the other side. I only ever use Twitter if I want to catch up on the news now. Is Twitter a good source of news? Every time something on trending catches my eye. Fortunately, I've, I've kind of now trained myself to ignore trending for the most part. But because I use Twitter for work... Um, and I see what's trending sometimes, right? I just... I can just immediately get this sense of, like... This is so... Like, bias. And BS. <laughs> to be frank. Like, a lot of stuff is just talked about in a really... Ridiculous way on there. I don't know. I don't know, you know. Every time I've clicked, it's not been too great to look at. Put it like that. I love, I love how, like, you think about building something in a more confined space and then you just change your whole approach to redstone because of it, right? So that actually activates both pistons. So if we have sugarcane growing at different heights, we can take advantage of this. It's kind of weird. Now, can we... Oh, we need to, we need to have waterlogged blocks next to dirt. And then we need a collection system. Hopper minecarts are probably the best for this type of thing. How much space do we have up there? Is this thing like four too wide? Oh, look at that. I could actually space this out a little bit more. Because if I'm going to add windows here, you'll see the sugarcane growing and then occasionally getting harvested. So like the height we're going to operate at is probably about here. One, two, three. So we'll have three tall windows. Hmm. So the piston would be at the top level, which would give us, like, basically one block above to work with. So this would actually be a bit tricky. But as you saw, we could space it out. So we can actually have it like this. But then... Well, then you don't need observers. You just have redstone, right? Anyway, so... So much for doing some clever stuff. This might just be incredibly basic after all. So you have solid blocks and a line of redstone. Okay. The redstone gets powered. All of these get activated. Um, then here you need dirt. We have the space. That, that's, that's my dirt block, right? One, two. It'll be one lower. Then you can just put water behind it very easy. So like collection. You can't really use hoppers. Can you put sugarcane on mud now? Doing science. <laughs> Bella the T, thank you so much for 68 months. Appreciate the lovely message. Thank you. Mediocre, thank you for your subscription. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the stream. Thank you, thank you. Does this stuff grow on that stuff now?
Check this out. I put I put an amazing contraption in my base. Look. Look, you, you can barely see it. Oh my god, it filled up my water bucket. Come on. Yes! Yes! No hop on minecarts. Yes! Great success. Okay, sorry for the uh, over-enthusiasm. So then I guess it's like, what blocks do we want to put behind here? So we're going to be looking through probably black windows. Which I, you know, I don't have the black glass prepped. We're probably going to be looking through a black window at green sugar cane. Well, that just happened. I'm so sorry. R.I.P. Sugar cane. Um, what what color? What color do we want of a thing? That's kind of what I'm wondering. Rainbow Tudor says, Hi X, just wondering, are you obsessed with Efo or Joel? Uh, I am obsessed with playing guitar and playing Minecraft. Those are the things that I am obsessed with. I don't I don't get obsessed about people. Does sugar can need light to grow? Uh dunno. Probably. We'll put maybe we'll put a lighting block in there. I kind of actually wanted the aesthetic to be a bit dark and dingy, but hmm. What if I actually just put in like a transparent block behind it? Because I was going to put leaves here with water in. That would be kind of interesting. Then we need to make sure that the sugarcane falls into its space. So we could have transparent blocks there, like more glass basically. Someone suggested yellow glass. Like, what are we thinking? Like, creating a bit of a colour thing where it's like... And then something else behind that, perhaps? Definitely going to use a flat colour block in here somewhere. I can feel it. Actually, I, you know, I was going to go with leaf blocks, but I could also do... You could also... If we're going to have glass there, you could have like a slab. And waterlog the slab. I just, I just think there's like, what, what is a cool radical block just to put behind sugarcane, you know? What's got a nice contrast? What's the opposite of green? Red? But this is more like lime, so maybe... It was like soft, like brown. Kind of earthy. Get a bit of an earthy vibe going on in there. Although, hmm, I think dirt would be your better choice. Red glazed terracotta. Hmm. Maybe something that complemented the piston as well, but... I, I reckon dirt and rooted dirt and coarse dirt might all look pretty cool back there. Or maybe muddy mangrove root. Oh, yeah, then we'd like... Okay, okay, I think we're onto it now. So you take a little bit of time, look around. If we go with mud and muddy mangrove roots back there, like, then they just match what we're doing in front of it so well. It looks swampy. It's behind the dark grass. The thing we're going to lack now is a light source. We could put a light source above the piston. But this doesn't let, this doesn't let light through. Unless we put some transparent roots on there at, like, the next level. And then let the light shine in from somewhere down here. I'm, I'm running out of this stuff desperately, though. I had to steal some from Ren. I don't think I used it all. So, um... Yeah, I don't want to be pinching too much of that. Could you put light block under the waterlogged leaf block? Um, no, it wouldn't go through the gap, right? Is the issue. Let's go, let's go grab our uh, project box, because we're no way done with our pass. So, while we're doing a pass... In the future, we got all the components of that already here. That's all of it, isn't it? String is a part of that. And then things to be sorted away. Uh, we'll go into here. That's kind of it. Magenta glazed terracotta. 
Ooh, what one is that? What's special about that? Oh, that's the arrow. Hmm. Right, I'm going to try and drink a little bit of... Uh... A little bit of that. Ikora Kess says, X, are you familiar with Pirate Software? He sometimes expresses frustration with how slow Mo Yang's development is. Do you sometimes feel the same way? Sometimes, but if there's one thing I've learned is that if you're not in it, then you probably know far less than the people that are in it. And if you imagine you're in it, you can come up with a whole bunch of reasons why maybe it is so slow. Like, you know... A massive coordination between all these different platforms that have to have parity and the amount of bug fixing and stuff they have to do developing minecraft on this old java engine and parallel development with bedrock and meeting with the whole deadlines for uh creating promotional material and big events around updates that i reckon there's just a lot of coordination a lot of bloat and uh i don't think they're lazy sitting around twiddling their thumbs i just think there's quite a big process to it all. Now let's have a look. Gonna need that to, do, to build this. Yeah, so I reckon a couple of mangrove roots like that in there will let light through from somewhere else. So it's just gonna be glowstone out of sight, right? We don't need uh, anything fancy here. Hoppers go underneath. Hibbity hoobity hoppers. I will take my redstone overflow chest. And that's kind of it. Like an observer at the ends, maybe, on either side that powers the redstone in the middle to activate it. We're going to need more black glass. I think that's the uh, the big takeaway here. Uh, let's actually make the dye from this stuff. I don't think I've got like a stash of glass or even... A oh, wait, I've got this. Oh, wow, I do have a stash of glass. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Do you know what else I've got to build in this base? Like the furnace array. I don't know where that's going to go. I think the furnace array will be down here and we'll have some sort of like staircase or something built on this dirt at some point. Yeah, I need to make a list really. Although, to be fair, like lists can be a bit annoying sometimes because you don't get to like follow your inspiration as much. Like I've needed a furnace array like for so long because you do smelting so frequently it makes sense to get one going early on but yeah i've had a lot of fun just following my nose a bit more you know now where is my ender chest is parked up top somewhere isn't it what do you want to use the for furnace fuel i don't know i, I kind of want to do a kelp farm somewhere i love the whole automatic crafting of the kelp block and maybe creating a system that produces some of those on 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 the side as well Right, we're not going to have a window at the front. Let's check out like what the ratio is here. Like one, two, three, one. I could just go with that if I wanted to. The part of my brain is like, oh no. Can't do that. Actually, I'm going to just shift it over by one. And I think that's fine. So then we got a gap of two at either end, which satisfies the... Uh, silly part of your brain that wants it all to be uniform uh this, this being said let's uh let's go up here two blocks because that means if we had sugarcane all the way to here i guess we could send a signal up into that block and across onto the redstone and it's going to be one two three four eight but yeah no no worries about the redstone signal strength decaying so we are actually going to be putting this into a very compact precise space which was never the plan but here we are um, we're going to put the windows on both sides might be a good idea to not fill all of them in as well okay come over here one two three one two three i'm waiting for that like that moment where you get that thing that you forgot to think about and it's like oh no now we don't have space but like it's a sugar cane farm Surely we're not going to run into anything like that, right? Ah! I wasn't trying to fall down, but I'm here. I'll collect all these bits and bobs. Don't mind if I do. Dude, what? And when? What and when? 
How long's that been like that for? And how? How would something blow up there? That area is spawn proof? The heck? Now, now, okay, if you're watching this on like the VOD on the second channel, or you're like here right now, one of you out there, if you want to be an investigator and go back and look at old streams, like how long has that been messed up for? What's frustrating about that is that there was a lot of methodology put into this that will be lost as we uh, repair it. Although it's probably barely noticeable. But I will be building it from the opposite side. Hmm. That is, that is like, so weird that this has happened. So I think there was basically a three thick line like this all the way across, which means uh, that some of these are going to need to be raised up. That feels about right. And then you had the two thick bits. So where, Joel, this actually feels like a proper repair. There you go. Now how in the heck that happened? I do not know. Uh, I still have the light levels on, by the way. Like, I have the overlay for the light levels, so there's no light level issues here. We'll go and turn that off now. I notice it messes with other little bits of rendering here and there, but uh, not a big deal. So, got to build it up there, right? Sugarcane. Mud. Hoppers. So, we can probably put, like, a platform in here below it. Yeah, okay, right. I'm just going to build a little staircase here. My little staircase. That's what that is. Going to need a couple stacks of this, please. Thank you. Put those away. Wise guy 57684. Thank you for gifting a sub to Ogre Beg. Nilia Crakes. Thank you for the Prime. The Taok. Thank you for the Prime as well. I think you're all caught up on the noises. Thank you so much, peeps. Be sure to hit the follow button here on Twitch if you want to catch my future live streams. Going to be lots of Hermitcraft on here, you know. Dev wishes there was a feature to know how dark something is in Minecraft, similar to the haunted bell creature that shows you dark radius and spots when you bring it. They could add something if they wanted to, right? Oh, man, that's really good. That's some really good hot bevy. Hot bevy in my belly. Mm, okay. I'm seeing how all of this comes together and it's looking good. I think it's looking good. We've got a solid plan. I just, I just, not quite sure what order we want to build stuff in, right? I didn't bring a lot of mud. Oh, and we just, we kind of decided we were going to put some scaffolding here. I think I want to stick with that. I'm a little bit concerned about like breaking the scaffolding and it falling into the system here. It's kind of part of why I want to have a platform to stop other things falling in, but then we've got to break the scaffolding at some point. There you go. Black Sir, thank you so much for the Prime. Thank you for using that on me, my dude. Peeps, if you did not know, if you have Amazon Prime, you can get a free subscription on Twitch every month with it. Kind of cool. Do you know, I have Amazon Prime and I've never used it. I could subscribe to myself. What? Should be doing that. Oh, dear. Don't call it a derp. It's not a derp. It's an intentional choice. So this is going to be like 11 wide, basically, isn't it? No, I said don't call it a derp. No dirt faces for that one. I'm refusing. I'm refusing to acknowledge that. That is not a dirt. Look, I. Do you know what I should do? I should use it on one of the other hermits. I should hook it up to my account and use it on other hermits. That I totally should do. Um. Yeah. What leaf are we gonna go with? One that I have a lot of. Mangrove. We get stupid amounts of mangrove. Uh, gonna need like a temporary water source up there, I think. Go make another bucket. I'm 
wondering if it'd be nice to have like a little contraption that just you press a button and it gives you a water bucket. I don't know how. Like, well, one of the problems with doing something like that is that when you play this game, you're always like spread out so much, you're all over the place. And so you think you don't need it, but maybe it'd be a good little thing to have. Dude, I'm messing this job up. I wonder if that adds like water particles. I think the leaves block it, don't they? Okay, let's go um, put all of these in place. Notice how it's mangrove as well, right? Like, it fits the theme in a big way. With the crafter, you could make an auto water bucket farm. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. Well, you could stock a regular farm up with a lot of buckets, right? So I, I don't think the trade-off is that big, other than if you put the crafter in, you can probably put, like, an amount of iron in where you'd never need to fill it up again. Do you have an estimate on when the data packs on Vanilla Tweaks will be done? Uh, I don't. I don't have one for you. You want to use your Enderman farm again? What's stopping you from using your Enderman farm? Good idea. I'll steal that one. I don't know what idea we're referring to, but uh, ideas are to be stolen. Maybe subscribe to a different home every month. Yeah, something like that. X is the low-key the funniest hermit. I think that's highly subjective and it's uh, probably based on your preferences. But thank you. I think. Unless you're trying to say something. <laughs> right. Right, so behind that, we then have sugarcane, we have the walls, we have the pistons. Yeah, I think I'm going to put in the walls and pistons next. So we've only got eight mangrove woods. Oh yeah, and then we would have glowstone somewhere, maybe just right here, like at this level. Whoops. Maybe that's where all of that goes. It makes it hard for me to actually use the platform that I've set up, funny enough. So we block some of that light out now. This is going to be free tool, isn't it? Oh, and we can rotate the texture a little bit. We have six windows. Why don't we just put one in the middle of each group of three? Then I don't have to think about randomization at all. Like that. There we go. Okay, let's go do the other side. Very good. Hopefully this is enough to do the whole room. We'll come back and we'll do the sugar cane and the, the windows last, I guess, by the looks of it. Very good. Also, I could have put light above, I've just realised. I don't know what block's going to go on the top here, but, you know, there's room up there for more blocks, I guess. Whoops, again. Oh, look, I've got the sugar cane and I've got the glass. Let's go ahead and take care of that now, then. Oh, actually, we should probably put the pistons in soon. Yeah, maybe, maybe we do the pistons next. Okay, okay. I missed one water, apparently. Let's double check. I'd soon find out when I try and put the sugar cane in, right? Uh, doesn't look like it to me. Okay. So down here, uh, redstone supplies. Pistons won't be in there. And I know where we're going to use the observer. I might set that up next, just before we get the pistons in. Need a line of redstone across the top. 
Um, pistons, redstone observe. Is that kind of it? Why did I get this out then? I thought I'd need something from there. Anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna need to detect um, this block and this block are gonna become observers. But they're gonna power what's behind it. This is where we're winging it now. We're winging it a little bit, peeps. Okay. Unless I put them there, uh, then that no. Hmm. Maybe that works. Let's go. So we have them there. They're gonna face into that. I feel like I'm gonna end up with a bunch of redstone here, where you you'd feel like you could do less. Oh, actually, this is kind of cool. Okay, so check this out. Let's put... Let's get a repeater. So when we when we detect the sugarcane grow, we're going to create a redstone signal either side. That points into that block now. This is kind of annoying. Um, that needs to be that way around. Then we want to have uh, an observer facing up. And it's going to allow us to have blocks all the way across here of redstone on them. Yeah, that's it. That's basically it. Right. Um, let's put in the observers while we're here. Oh, no. We need to put them in from the opposite side. Yikes. Because there's not a lot of space here. So that has to go temporarily. Ah! I tried. Let's do that again. We got this. We got this. Just about squeezing it into this tiny space. Why is that so satisfying in this game? Like, you could go, but go build this thing anywhere, but no. Putting it into this tiny little space is somehow really gratifying. Okay. So that's going to power the redstone to the side of it. Target block, someone suggested. Target block might have been really useful, actually, somewhere here. Oh, wait, I wasn't supposed to do that. I kind of get the feeling that we don't need it, though. So now, um, we're going to have a line of blocks with the redstone on top of it and the pistons. And then we... Oh! Oh, build it all... Well, that's the thing, actually. I've built it all one block lower than I thought. No, no, I haven't. Um, so, huh. Okay, that's interesting. This should have been... So when I was building this up free tall, I, I thought it was too tall, and then I was like, sugar cane grows free. I forgot we have to have a piston at that height. So if this all goes up by one block, the issue then becomes the dispenser detecting it over here. So maybe this is actually a blessing that it's one block lower. But I have actually gone and made it all one block too low. Oh, why did I not notice that sooner? Why is it always like this in this game? We were just praising <laughs> this kind of thing a second ago. And now we're not. Okay, if we put the observer here facing inwards, what height is it going to be at? No, we can't because there'd be a piston there. So it would be at that height. And then I guess you'd have to change that block. Maybe I could change this into a staircase. I don't know. Kind of kind of making use of a full block there though, aren't we? Hmm. Hmm. What about putting it down this end? I could possibly just create a little thing here to like hide the fact that there's redstone. <sighs> it all has to go up by one block though. Why? 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 Okay, okay, we were close, but now we're not.
Got to rebuild. And then we'll figure out the redstone when we're there. I just didn't notice, I guess. I just didn't notice. Freaky Beetle, thank you for your prime. Appreciate it, my dude. Appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the stream. What is my most satisfying farm? I mean, I've built so many, it's really hard to tell you which one was the most satisfying. Okay. I want to make sure I'm collecting all of this. This is why I think uh, having a little magnet enchantment would be really great. If your pickup radius was just a little more reliable and you knew that like blocks weren't falling off into the void and stuff, I think that would be really great to have. I really do. So yeah, we should have put these blocks at this height. I don't quite know how it's taken me this long to notice it, but whatever. It's not going to be too much of a pain to rebuild because I never needed these things to be three blocks high of where the pistons go, right? What's going to be the biggest pain is just sorting out the leaves. Hey, we got more Prime subscriptions coming through and I should probably be drinking more of this hot decaf, right? Lamb Dog 2000 thank you for the Prime. Apollox10, thank you as well. Appreciate it, peeps. Appreciate it. Already at 800 derp. Who's ready for the face feel? Give me a cheer, says Total McCode. I'm not ready. Jeez, 800. You're getting really close there. <sighs> Your rule says I don't think you need an enchantment, just a better default sucking. That's a good point. It could just be a default thing that you change for quality of life reasons. I think I like the idea of it being an enchantment because it's something to work towards and then maybe have different levels of it. I, I mean, Minecraft always has this difficulty with scaling rewards because they can often be cheesed and farmed. But if you could create something that the regular player would benefit massively from with just something like a bit more easy accessible. So perhaps perhaps you can find level one in dungeons or whatever, right? But then level two, you have to beat a raid and level three, you got to kill a warden. Do you know what I mean? Like you scale the difficulty for the different levels of enchantment books. Which I don't think there's an enchantment quite like that. The way loot is distributed in this game, um, there's there's different ways that it's done, but I don't think one's been done quite like that. Uh, Rec A, thank you for your tier one subscription, my dude. Appreciate it. Hope you're uh, enjoying the stream here today. Thank you for coming by. X is a bit hungry. Um, a little bit. I had a big, big meal today. I cooked my venison stew with a lot of vegetables a lot of vegetables a lot of broccoli carrots cauliflower is gorgeous uh lazy shezzle thank you for the prime wreck a thank you for gifting a sub to crocoda 7m and bacon sniper thank you for your prime subscription appreciate it peeps appreciate it Right, we're getting we're getting close to being done here. So we're gonna we're gonna have to make up the last part of this mechanism as we go, I think. Just because it's gonna be tricky. Uh, but this is what we're looking at. Row of no. Face the right way. Or there'll be trouble. Oh, and it went down there. That's why we need the suck. That's why we need the hoover in shot. No! Do not face downwards. I also wish that block placing was, I don't know, a little more controllable. Like, I think most of the blocks conform now. There was a point in time where they didn't really conform to the same placing standards, which was super annoying. But I think they have fixed that for the most part with time. I could be wrong, though. Right, so we need all of those pistons, like so. We could also, we could actually run this off of a timer rather than observing sugarcane growth, right? And then that way the signal can just come up and clip into there and we don't have to worry about all of this. Because that would be one block higher on this side and therefore difficult to route to that. Actually, no, it wouldn't. What am I talking about? Ah, oh, sometimes I think the wrong way with these observers, right? 
like, if it's here, okay, and it's facing, oh, this is going to be awkward to build because of the directionality now. Let me show you what I'm thinking, right? There's a way to chain hoppers together, but I'm pretty sure the last few times I've thought about doing this, I've been thinking about it incorrectly, right? Because now you want to detect that one changing, and now you're here facing into that. So if that weren't a full block, it could easily power it. So if we just had, like... No, you need the redstone to be here. Or... Okay, quick quick redstone check. Quick redstone check. Uh, let's go down here. Just jog our memory. Right, we want to go up a block. Go ahead and uh, put a redstone torch here. Okay, um, I need I need a stair of some sort. We would probably want to pick a texture that complements it, which will probably be cobbled like that. Wait, what am I thinking here? I think we want it at that height. Yeah. So that doesn't that doesn't block that, does it? Because we've got stairs either side of this. So then it will become seamless again. Okay. Problem solved. Minecraft EXE, thank you for subscribing. Uh, never error anonym. I'm I've so butchered that. I'm so sorry. Uh, thank you for the Prime subscription, Christopher Blue. Thank you for five months. And James Marriott is my kitten. Thank you for the Prime subscription. Appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, so then below that we just want some redstone. Like there's something in the way there. Okay, there's that. Let's get rid of all of this. Uh-huh. Then we'll put in the pistons. Yeah. Looking good, looking good. Right. So, after all of that, this does indeed work. Okay, get in here and put it at... Oh, no, 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 no. This doesn't work. This doesn't work because you'll detect the piston pushing out in front of it. Ah! Oh, dang it. There's always something. There's always something. Okay, we'll abandon this idea now. It's uh, it's really not worth it, I don't think. We're going to run it off of a clock. Because, yep, there's that old issue, basically. There's that old issue. Um, Give me a tissue. Can I put what, that one there? Yeah, fill in that gap. Okay, that's that side done. So we're going to have to run it off of some sort of clock that's hidden away. There you go. There you go. Now we need blocks up the top. What should we put up the top, peeps? I feel like saying brown. Since we've got this transition from like mud. With the roots upwards. We've got some roots to let in light. We've got our redstone across the top. We'll have a little tower of redstone torches. To send that signal upwards, I imagine. Kitty Gaming 99, thank you for 78 months. Lemurite, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it, peeps. Appreciate it. Maybe use a daylight sensor. That could be interesting. Yeah, actually, that could. If it detects the piston, you might you have made a clock. That is true. That is true, but not the one that we want. T flip flop fixes that. That's true. That's true. A T flip flop would. But since we're using two inputs, I'm not going to do that. Next time, next time I encounter that piston in front of the observer thing, I need to remember that T flip flops exist. That's a good trick. Um, don't the pistons need to be one block down? Oh my god! You're right. How is oh, how am I keep making these absolute foolish mistakes? <laughs> They do need to be one block. What is going on today? Oh, my days. Clearly, clearly I am not as sharp as I thought I was. I think I've had a bit of an impetus to, like, get this done, you know? And that's probably not been helpful. I mean, you know, if you're putting the dirt face in chat now, I'm going to say, how long have you been watching for? Like, really? 
You're gonna throw the dirt face at me now. Oh, that actually might allow us to do the observer thing now that... Yeah, now we're back on the observer game. Okay, interesting. Oh, and I just broke that. Whatever. Seriously, are you seriously putting the dirt face in now? By the way, this changes how the lighting works. I just realized, like, we don't have lighting now. So we're going to put them down at this level, and then you see a little bit of green, which actually probably fits in quite nicely. Oh, my days. Right, what's the next thing? I've, I've said several times today, like, oh, I wonder if there's something we've... Uh, Done wrong, misunderstood, and like never we never get there. We never get there, peeps. Why should we? Why should we? I'm an idiot, let's face it. Let those without derps cast the first derp, says per potato. That's the quote of the day right there. That's that's made my day that has, yeah. <laughs> it's true though! You're watching too! I mean, come on. Why didn't you tell me about it, chat? That's what you're really here for. That's, you know, I'm not here to entertain you. You're supposed to, uh, you're supposed to catch me when I fall. That's what you're really here for. That's why I stream. Otherwise, I'd never get anything done. This makes, uh, this makes the next bit super easy as well. Look. So we, we were just doing all this observer stuff a second ago. Now it's like one there. One here. Put those back. I don't know what block was here. I think it was actually stairs. Where did it go, whatever it was? It hasn't been gone for long. Huh. Oh, maybe it was just more of the pillar, right? Oh, I so want to throw that ender pearl. Okay, we're going to try... Oh, absolute pro skills. Absolute pro skills. That was awesome. Okay. No one's ever celebrated throwing an ender pearl like that before, have they? I'm getting a bit too excited here. Right, so... That, on both sides, now easily powers this line of redstone. It's actually made the last part of this super easy, I think. We're almost there. We've got to put in a row of hoppers. And what not to. AX, is that your... Is, is your hat a custom pumpkin or a helmet? Uh, my hat is a custom pumpkin. Because it couldn't be a helmet. Due to how this works. Let's go... Did I do that on this side? I didn't. So we need to do that. I think I'm going to plant the sugar cane now. Oh, and we need the blocks up top. Okay, a little bit of variation, deliberately. I think uh, I think maybe actually at the top here, we might just go with this. That I like. That I like. Okay, we're ready to plant the sugar cane. We're ready to put in... There isn't anything I forgot now, is there, peeps? Forever hold your peace. That's what they say, isn't it? There we go. I could even give it a little test. Boop, boop, boop. Ah! That was painful, peeps. I've just been squished by a piston. The horror. I just had a bit of a weird idea, right? In this game, there's there's like different shades of color and stuff with plants, and you're always like trying to mix them and use them, and then you wish there was like that one shade in between. They should introduce a plant where, like, maybe it's got like many shades of green, and part of how you grow it plays into what shade you're growing, and then you could make some farms that are like a little more interesting where you deliberately manipulate it. To get like a particular shade. I think that could be kind of cool. 
yeah, I mean, Minecraft's just a place to endless ideas. Endless ideas that you could infuse. Right, there you go. So that that's actually really nice. I like how that looks a lot. It's obvious what it is. Occasionally you'll see it activate. We could also put a light at the end here if we wanted to that gets turned on whenever this thing activates. I'm going to do that just in case we like occasionally see it. Like you'll be like, oh, I know what that's for. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Missed second roof. I think I'm I think I'm reading that comment um, after I've gone and done that, right? Yeah, okay, so here we are. But that oh it looks a little dark up here. Do I have any glow like into hands? No. Grab some of that. That. Ah, not trying to fly. That. Ah, no, no, no. ah. That's me getting annoyed by the uh, flying thing. Is that? Have I used all my ender pearls? No way. No way. I like using ender pearls. They're good. Right. So in here, it's definitely dark. The thing is, I want to go in a little bit, so I do need a, an ender pearl. Thank you. Lived in a cake. Thank you for your Prime subscription. Um, I think we're all caught up. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the first we've had in a minute. Thank you for subscribing with the Prime. Appreciate it. Oh, wait. Where am I going here? Like, what's the plan? Next question is about the, what the hermits would add or change in Minecraft gave such interesting answers. When did I ask those questions? That's a common thing. I'm just trying to think. When was that, I guess? And somewhere here is the middle. Am I, am, I, am I actually directly in the middle? Did I intuitively get that? I think I did. I think I just estimated and got the middle. Okay. So the redstone wire will point into the block here, meaning the one above be a redstone lamp. Well, actually, we could have three redstone lamps in a row. Oh, do you know what? I don't like that. I think, I think I'll just stick with that for now. And if I decide later on that I want it to be more, it can be more. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so next thing I said was hoppers, right? Hoppers. And we should really use the ones out here first. Chests. And uh, what we're going to have to do in the future is create some redstone that auto crafts into paper, auto crafts into sugar. You know, fills up boxes and stuff. It's probably it's probably not big enough for like a massive auto crafting setup, right? And knowing me, I'm probably going to do this and then later on find out, oh, I need like a, a really big setup somewhere for like tons of this stuff. But hey, at least we're getting it put in now and it's a start. Oh my god, please stop. Whew. I think hoppers might end up being like... I think the person that uses the most hoppers this season will be me. <laughs> I got a feeling. Right, let's leave these uh, every... Would it be third one? Would it be here? Yeah, it's there. So I want to leave that one in. Then one, two, three... And now they're correctly spaced. Interesting. And then I leave them there like that, you know? Clumbago, thank you so much for the prime. Meanie Beanie Arts, thank you for your 11 months. Glad to have finally caught a stream even if I'm late. Yeah, definitely late, but that's alright. One row for paper, one for sugar. That's true. I was I was thinking I'd have more of a like auto crafting backup system where once once the auto craft is full, it's like the next one goes. But yeah, hoppers don't really cause lag anymore. Well, I'm using I'm using a crazy amount, so <laughs> they, I'm sure they're going to cause a little bit. But yeah, they've been optimized, which is great. We appreciate that. Okay. 
Okay, let's try and get all of this stuff away. Because there's so much colour, it's like you're trying to... Trying to look at... Um, like redstone, but then there's just all sorts of noise. There's all sorts of stuff. Okay, let's go here. Uh, what's in my toolbox? Put that away. Anything come through yet? <laughs> Anything growing? Not even growing yet. Let's take down the scaffolding next. So yeah, like I don't want any of that to actually fall into like a hopper and start activating the system. It's kind of my concern. And interestingly, they can go inside the composters. And uh, you can... Well, they won't get picked up. Ah! Right as I went for it, I was like, not that! No, no, no! Oh, no, not quick enough. Not quick enough. Oh, dear. The silly noises I make, eh? Uh... Thunder Bro, thank you for gifting a sub to Karengo. We've had loads of gifted subs today and yesterday, and I didn't get to play the animation. So I'm going to play the animation for y'all. Is that okay? I uh, just want to say thank you so much for the support, everyone. Appreciate y'all gifting subs. You know, supporting our community. Supporting me. That's why I'm here. That's why I can stream, because of uh, all of y'all's generosity. So thank you so much for that. Let's go ahead and uh, tidy up. If you can hear the Minecrafty noises behind the video, tidy enough. Ooh, and I just thought of something important. Anyway, enjoy the animation. Y'all are getting lag. Thank you for letting me know. Let's go and check if it's our usual culprit. What is the source of lag? Doesn't appear to be the usual culprit. Maybe it is. I think it might be. Let's see what happens now. Right. Did the lag mysteriously go away? To be fair, I can see the video playing on my screen and it is not lagging. So it might actually just be the connection. Anyway, let me know if it just suddenly improved. If it did, then it probably was that, despite me not seeing the lag on the screen, which is very strange. Oh, I'm so glad we got that put in there. That feels really good. We're going to have to... Oh, we're probably going to need to put, like, a really big guardian. Oh, my God, that's such a good idea. And, I'm, again, I'm talking about what I can see while the video's on. That's not a great idea. Let me take a note. I'll explain in a second. That's awesome. That's a great idea right there. That is a good idea. Black disappeared. There you go. There you go. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we've got a noise in the ear from Sema with the Prime. Thank you for using the Prime on me, my dude. Much appreciated. Yes, yeah, so all of this can go away for sorting. Because I don't want to do any of that manually. That's slow, isn't it? Void Agony. Thank you for another Prime subscription. Appreciate you, my dude. Thank you, thank you. Peeps, let me, let me show you what I was thinking, right? So, we got to build another Guardian here. Maybe one behind it there, but I don't think so. I think one there... Right, so we've got one at the front, one at the front, another one here. Maybe, oh, okay, so we could put one there, and we could we talked about putting one here, but I think a big guardian on top of that would look super awesome. Like, I'm going to have to push myself. Do you remember uh, Jem built the trident shop with the thing holding, I can't remember quite what it was, but like that level of organics, I'm going to have to push myself, okay? Right. You know, you know how um, some of y'all are like, oh, y'all hermits are so amazing. I can't do this. But if I'm going to do it, I have to try. And I will try. And if you see something really cool there in the future, it's not because I had some intuitive thing inside of me. It's because I put in the time and effort. Believe me, if something appears there, I've put in the time and effort. So, um, yeah, like a big organic one of those things. I don't know. I'll have to stew on that idea. But it certainly feels like it's going to fit into the game. Anyway, um, thank you everyone for tuning in today. Be sure to check out my music if you haven't done so before. Soulside Eclipse is the name. You can listen to it on the, the major streaming platforms and all of that stuff. 
YouTube, Bandcamp, Spotify, Apple Music. Uh, please do go check it out if you have the time. But otherwise, today, we've reached the end of my uh, streaming time. So I'm going to have to go look for someone to raid. I don't think anyone else is uh, on the server playing right now. Oh, no, there is. There's XP crafted. I'll send you over to XP. Okay, it's going to be a big raid. Big raid on XP. Let's do it. All right, more Hermitcraft action coming your way, peeps. Thank you for